Founded in 1949 in the wake of the atomic bombing of the city, the Hiroshima Carp were created as a way to give people hope for the future as the city rebuilt. The name was put forth by local politician Noboru Tanigawa, who is the face of the campaign to get the Carp accepted into NPB, and is often referred to as the team's godfather. They were named after the koi that climbed the rapids near Hiroshima Castle, and it was chosen to signify the city's perseverance in the face of adversity. Other names were put forth, including, rather morbidly, Adams, as well as Rainbows, Bears, and Doves. There was also a movement to revive the Hiroshima Greens, a semi-pro team that had been popular before the war. However, Tanigawa was so influential in the founding that his choice was always going to be picked. The team would play their home games at Hiroshima General Stadium, which only seated about 15,000 people. NPB didn't like this. Hiroshima getting the team was always seen as a bit of a PR move, and it was clear that there wasn't enough talent available to justify having as many teams in NPB as they did, and it didn't help that not a lot of players wanted to sign for the club. Hall of Fame shortstop Katsumi Shira Ishii would come back to play for his hometown club out of love, but outside of that, they just had whoever they could scrape together. They did, however, manage to grab an ace, Ryohei Hasegawa. Standing at just 5'5", five five, Hasegawa was overlooked by a lot of teams despite an impressive high school career in Nagoya. After spending two years playing company ball for whoever would take him on, Hiroshima came calling in 1949, and he accepted. His secret to success was a cutter and two-seam mix that was good for one thing, breaking bats. Despite a rough first month, Hasegawa would eventually come into his own as an ace, in particular dominating the Nishinippon Pirates. After getting routed by the Pirates on April 30th, Hasegawa would win three straight decisions against them, and earned the nickname the Pirate Killer. When the Nishinippon Pirates merged into the Nishitetsu Clippers and left the CL with only seven teams, calls for the carp to be cut by the brass grew louder. Tayo tried to save the day by offering to buy and merge the team, but since Tayo wanted to get rid of Hiroshima in the team's name, this was deemed insulting and unacceptable. Before the 1952 season, NPB announced that any team that finished with a winning percentage under 300 would be jettisoned from the league. Around the same time, the Carp almost lost their ace. Hasegawa's father had recently passed away, and he'd spent the majority of the offseason back home in Nagoya sorting family issues out. He had expressed a desire to stay in Nagoya, and Shinichi noticed that. The Dragons tried to use a loophole in Hasegawa's contract to lure him away, convincing him that it wouldn't even matter, as the Carp would surely fold soon. The Carp immediately protested to the league office. Several newspapers, especially Yamiuri, criticized Hasegawa for abandoning his team. The Giants also protested to the league office. But this wasn't exactly a sign of goodwill, it was because they knew how good Hasegawa was, and didn't want the Dragons rotation to get any better. Junichi released articles defending themselves, stating that Hasegawa was criminally underpaid in Hiroshima and was too good for them. Hasegawa, now realizing the mess he'd caused, asked the CL commissioner to void the contract with Junichi and to close the loophole, returning to Hiroshima. When he got off the train at Hiroshima Stadium, cart fans showered him with cheers and praise. According to Hasegawa, that's when he realized he was where he belonged, and thought, I'm going to pitch for the carp until my arm falls off. The Carp, now facing possible elimination, battened down the hatches. They managed to pry away a few veterans from the Taiyo Whales, including Masato Monzen and Kiyoshi Osawa, both of whom had been star players pre-war. Hiroshima finished with a winning percentage of 316, while the Shochiku Robins finished in last with a winning percentage of 288. They did this thanks to beating up on the Robins because they couldn't beat on anyone else. Takanori Yamakawa would also hit the first cycle in club history against the Kokotetsu Swallows on June 26th. While Taiyo did buy the Robins and merge the two teams, since the team was technically jettisoned from the league beforehand, all their best players were now free agents, and the Carp signed most of them. This included former 50 homer man Makoto Kozuru, who became the new face of the Carp's offense. The Carp were able to rebound to respectability with this new core, and Hasegawa would take home the Wing King Award in 1955 for his efforts. The Carp would move into Hiroshima Municipal Stadium midway through the 1957 season. The stadium was built right next to the IOE Bridge, which was used by the Enola Gaze Bombardiers as a target. That was intentional, it was to offset the city's greatest tragedy with a sign of hope for the future. On October 2nd, 1965, rookie pitcher Yoshiro Sotokoba threw the first no-hitter in club history against the Hanshin Tigers. It was the first winning decision of his career. In 1968, Mazda would take sole ownership of the team. Thus, the team had their name changed to the Hiroshima Toyo Carp, with Toyo being short for Toyo Kyogo, Mazda's official name. However, this name is only really used in an official capacity. 
The only time you'll hear the team referred to by its full name is during broadcasts and the draft. Outside of that, they're just the Hiroshima Carp. That same year, Sotokoba would become the first Carp pitcher to throw a no-hitter at Hiroshima Municipal Stadium, twirling a perfect game against the Taiyo Whales on September 14th, striking out 16 in the process. This would be the greatest game ever pitched in NPB until 2022. Sotokoba would also throw a third no-hitter in 1972, making him the only player in the NPB era with three no-hitters. By 1975, something was starting to brew. The Carp had quietly worked to build a homegrown core of pitchers with Sotokoba and Kojiro Ikegaya, as well as offensive weapons with Koji Yamamoto and Sachio Kinugasa. Throw in American imports Gail Hopkins and Richie Scheinblum, and the team was ready to take on a central league that now seemed wide open. And there to help them was their new American manager, Joe Lutz. Wait, Lutz quit because he felt umpires were calling games against the Carp unfairly, because they didn't want him to win. Well, fortunately, he suggested the perfect replacement, bench coach Takeshi Koba. Koba took over and managed the team to their first pennant. Unfortunately, they would end up getting swept in six games by the Honkyu Braves, but it was still something they could build off. Soto Koba would fade, but new pitchers Yutaka Ono and Manabu Kitabepu stepped up to take the reins. Yamamoto and Kinugasa would be joined by Yoshihiko Sakahashi, Adrian Garrett, and Jim Little to form a team core that lacked any glaring flaws. It would result in back-to-back -back championships over the Kintetsu Buffaloes in 1979 and 1980. As of the writing of this video, they remain the last Central League club to repeat as champions. After getting revenge on the Braves in 1984, the Matsuda family sold their controlling stake in Mazda to Ford. They would, however, maintain a two-third share in the team's ownership, with Mazda holding the other third. This means that the Carp are the only one of the 28 Asian professional baseball teams to be majority privately owned as the family maintains their two-thirds stake to this day. The Carp would make one more Japan series with their Dynasty Corps in 1986, and would end up getting reverse swept by the Seibu Lions in eight games. In his final season in 1987, Sachio Kinugasa would pass Lou Gehrig for the all-time Ironman record. Kitabepu and Ono would drag the Carp to another pennant in 1991, but they fell to the Lions again, and after that, the Carp were a perpetual third-place squad. Too much talent to suck, not enough talent to get past the Swallows or Giants. Players like Tomoaki Kanemoto and Akira Eito would be poached in free agency, and the Carp would return to the basement for the first time since the early 70s. The Carp did try to innovate, though. They had set up an academy in the Dominican Republic to try and develop some foreign players in-house and keep costs down. The best player to come out of that was Alfonso Soriano. Unfortunately, after a gross underpay offer from the Carp of just $45,000, Soriano decided it was best to leave. The Yankees purchased his contract from the Carp for $3.1 million. Despite the fallout, Soriano still has no ill will towards the Carp, because they were the first team to give him a shot at pro ball. His neighbor in the rookie dorms, Hiroki Kuroda, would eventually become the ace of the team, and the two would reunite 15 years later as teammates on the Yankees. By the 2000s, it was clear that Hiroshima Municipal Stadium was not fit for purpose anymore, and that mere renovations wouldn't be enough. So, it was decided to build a new stadium. Mazda Zoom Zoom Stadium was finished in March of 2009, and the Carp moved into their new digs in April of that year. Hiroshima Municipal Stadium would be demolished in 2010. With the new stadium came new blood. Yoshihiro Amaru and Ryosuke Kikuchi became the new faces of the franchise. And while Kenta Maeda left, Hiroki Kuroda came back from MLB and alongside him came Daichi Yosera, Chris Johnson, and Aran Curry. Add a certain Seiya Suzuki to that core, and the team would win three straight pennants in 2016, 2017, and 2018. But all three years ended in heartbreak. In 2016, they fell to Otani's Hokkaido Nippon Hem fighters. In 2017, they were upset by the Yokohama DNA Bay Stars in the CLCS, and in 2018, the Hawks dynasty said, it's your turn. Since then, the Carp have failed to even make the playoffs, partially due to COVID limiting the format in 2020 and 2021, partially due to Maru leaving in 2018, and Suzuki leaving after 2021. While this hasn't necessarily put the Carp back at square one, they are in the middle of a rebuild. The Hiroshima Carp are the NPB team that is easily the most entrenched in the culture of their home city. They love them, and the city loves them back. And honestly, that's the best thing about professional sports. How can you not be romantic about baseball?